What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and we got ourselves a banger of a video today. We got ourselves a Life Orb Zapdos alongside a Choice Specs and Tay Team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support. But rocking out in our front spot for this team to get us started is Nihilego, an Ultra Beast over here. Rocket Poison type with that Beast Boost ability and that Focus Ash. We got Power Gem and Acid Spray both for stab moves. We can also set Trick Room or Cancel out trick room, whichever one we want to play, and then we got foul play as its final move. Top of Finny, top tier Pokemon in these new series with the Misty Surge and Wakan Berry over on the right with Scald, Moonblast, Icy Wind, and Taunt. Nothing too new here. Behind the face cam, Life Orb Zapdos, Cantonian Zapdos, this thing's an absolute beast. Electric Flying type, you guys already know plenty about it. Static has its ability, so physical attackers hit us. We're gonna give him that little paralyzed. We got that Life Orb, then we got the T Bolt Hurricane, both for stab, Heat Wave for coverage, and Detect as your little protect move. Right next to him, we got a top tier Pokemon. Once again, we got Entei, or not Entei, bruh. Urshifu over here. I looked at Entei real quick, so I said Entei's name, but we got Urshifu, Fighting Dark type, Unseen Fist, hits through protects, Choice Band to make him do more damage. We got Sucker Punch for first turn priority, Rock Slide for coverage, Wicked Blow as its signature move for free critical hits, and then Close Combat for big stab fighting damage. Bottom left, we got Inner Focus Entei with that Choice Specs. Can't be faked out, which is awesome, or intimidated because of its Inner Focus ability with the Eruption, Heat Wave, Scorching Sands, and Extreme Speed for first turn priority, and then Choice Specs makes it does a little bit more damage, which is absolutely amazing. Amazing. And then in the final spot, we got our support mod of Clefairy with that friend guard and Evo Light. I don't even need to have to explain Clefairy. It's pretty straightforward. But guys, you want to use this team for yourself. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked up ladder. Try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys. And before we even get started, I got a little question of the day for you guys. So I am actually thinking about doing like a randomizer nuzlocke on the channel. I think that'll be pretty, pretty fun. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comment section down below and what gen you guys want me to do the game on. I'm thinking maybe gens two or three, but if you guys have other options, I know some people said black or white, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. It would really go a long way because I'm really like thinking about it. I'm really thinking about the Nuzlocke. Probably is going to go through sometime soon, but I would love to know what gen you guys would like to see. But first battle, we're going up against a Glacier team with Heatran, Ndidi, Kartana, Intimidate, Landorus, and Porygon 2 over here. So we could set Trick Room. That's a very viable option. I think I'd lead the Nihilego just in case to kind of cover that Trick Room aspect right there. And we could lead Entei as well. I kind of like Entei here. With that choice specs, I can absolutely bomb on somebody and roll from there. I could lead the... Could I lead Zapdos? Hmm. But sure he's kind of scared. I think I lead Entei here. We got the choice back. So I can always swap. Actually, I kind of want Entei in the back. Might just leave Finny here. Might just leave Finny. Yeah, let's go Finny. Let's go Entei and Zapdos. I think that's the play. I kind of want that. I want that Entei in here just for that... Uh, Just for that Glacier. If I can hit that thing with a big like fire move stab, like, bro, we can be thriving. We'll be rolling. But yeah, definitely gotta get Nihilego out here just for the sheer fact of, uh, in case he wants to try to roll a trick room with that Porygon 2, I can always ca kind of cancel it out and roll from there. I am Focus Ash as well, which is huge. Let's see who he's got. Let's see who he's rocking out with. What you want, fool? He's gonna go into... Okay, that's totally fine. Indeedee and, uh, Landorus. So he's gonna get Intimidate. Intimidate's gonna do nothing. I can drop a Muddy Water as well, which is pretty nice. Which is pretty nice. And then we got Jellyfish, boy, yo. Look at my dude. The Surge is coming, but then Indeedee suck at Surge. is actually just gonna cancel it out. Which, I mean, I guess that's fine. And is Landorus seed it? He might U-turn out and swap in the seeds. But we're both special attacking, which is which is nice. So I, I like that. Intimidate doesn't really do anything. The Surge is swap, and then he gets off the second Surge. I mean, he, he might just U-turn out here, which I can see happening. Let's see. That thing is just like seeds. Okay, so defensive booster. That's totally fine. Oh, no, special defense. Oh, you biscuit. I thought it was defense. Okay. I mean, I could just go for a foul play. I probably will do because I don't. We might just see a. Uh, well, I could slow down as well. Oh, that's Scald. I thought it was Money Water. We're gonna go for Scald over on you. You go for a follow me. That's totally fine. Hey, okay, let's see what you do. Let's see what you do, kind sir. That play's gonna come out. Yoink. Some nice damage. Just a little bit. He's not physical attacking, so it's not gonna do as much. But Scald, I'm looking for the burn here on this uh, on this thing right here. That'd be a huge play. Give me the burn. Give it to me. No burn, but the rock side is gonna pop. Take off our focus ash and do a little bit of, bit of damage to my top of Finny. And is this thing gonna go for a force? Yeah. I'm gonna drive an expanding force and do some damage. Okay, that's fine. What you want, fool? Nihil Lego E. Yes, sir. I love you, Nihil Lego. And he's gonna be able to outspeed. But I can just go for a. Yeah, I just drop a power gem here. I know we, we both outspeed here. I think I should go for a power gem. Or do we look for, like, the poison or something with acid spray? Oh, no, this could lower special defense. I'd rather just go for a stab power gem. I get that rolling. I shouldn't have went for the foul play. 
Uh, cut Icy Wind. I'd rather just Scald. And make sure this, that this, uh, that this Landers goes out. See what he's gonna do. He's just gonna go for an Expanded Force. No Lego's like gonna go down this turn. And, uh, Finny's gonna be able to eat. So Finny can actually get off another turn later. And he does outspeed the, uh, NDD, which is huge. And we take out Landers. That's big. That's big. Especially for our, uh, do we have physical attacker in the back? We have Zapdos, who's special. And then who was the other mod that we brought? I totally forget who it is. I'm definitely gonna bring out Zapdos. It's not Clefairy. I brought in. Oh, I brought in Ete. Okay. I mean, I'm a fan of that. I think we brought in all special attackers. <laughs> yeah, let's get out. Let's get out Zapdos here. I think that's the pie. We can uh, start taking speed control with max airstreams and roll from there. But it, who are you going to bring? That's a good question. If it's Glacier, we're kind of it kind of stinks. Okay, it's Cartana. Okay, I'm totally fine with Cartana. So Cartana is gonna come out here. Cartana is gonna be the fastest on the field. Uh, I think I just Dynamax, Flare, take out Cartana, and I cannot protect here. Which kind of stinks. I mean, I might try to go for an Icy Wind. But i kind of rather just go for a Moon Blast. Because Cartana is dead here. Cartana dies to just Flare, easily. Times 4, super effective damage. It's, it's gone. And I don't see it one tap in my Zapdos. It could protect. I mean, it could. But then my uh, Top of Finny gets off a nice big old uh, Moon Blast onto the immediate slot, which, is, which I would like. But I, I just see the Kartana kind of sitting here and dropping a, uh, dropping like a Leaf Blade into my Top of Finny and taking that out. And then indeed he getting off an extra shot. And then we just roll into Entei. And then we got the Flare roll. Oh, he's going to swap. What are you doing, Entei? I'm going to go into... So we do get the Heat for Entei, though, which is good. Smart swap. Smart swap. I mean, that was actually really nice to, to realize that Zapdos potentially has the uh, Fire Coverage move. And he rolled into it, which is a smart move. But I'm really not too mad here, considering my top of Finny gets off a shot, and then what's it called? And then uh, we get the heat for my Entei. So with that choice specs and stab, that's gonna be big damage popping off with it. This thing's flash fire. Never mind. I totally forgot. I'm so stupid. What a play by him. I gotta give him man props. Moon blast. We get a free moon blast. He's gonna expanding force take off Finny. That's fine. I mean Entei rolls in here, and this Entei helps me both of them. I mean, I gotta start uh, airstream, so I'll airstream over onto the indie slot, try to get that speed boost, and then roll in with my uh, Entei here. We are spec. We are spec. So, what move do I want to go into? I really do want to go into a fire move. At the same time, but at the same time, you gotta go for the airstream move. Let me just drop a heat wave. I say I said we choose spec into a heat wave. I think that's definitely the best play. He still has a Dynamax, which is probably gonna go with the uh, with the Heatran Dynamax here. Or is he going to save it for Kartana? I hope he saves it for Kartana. If he does, we're going to win this game. Nope, here comes the Heatran. Smart play by him. Dude, mate, this made that, that play, swapping that Heatran in, might have, it kept him in the game for sure. We would have won this game hands down if we would have had Kartana out that turn and then been able to just roll after his Heatran and all that good stuff. We would have been thriving. We really would have been thriving. Yeah. But hopefully Entei outspeeds at least the Ndidi. Because I think he could take the Ndidi out in one shot. See, helping hand. Oh, oh, that's a little scary. That's a little scary. Is he gonna drop a rock on me? What are you gonna do? Okay, what's called should be able to outspeed. The Entei should be able to outspeed. Indeed, he's gonna go down here. That's fair. We get the speed boost. Heat wave coming out here. Can we get a burn on this thing? Is this thing physical or special? I can see it being both. It's flash fire. What am I doing? What am I doing? It's flash fire. So I need Zapdos to take that thing out. E wave's gonna do nothing. It's gonna do nothing. What am I doing, people? What am I doing? Here comes the quake. He's gonna take him out anyway. Okay, so Cartana's gonna come out of here next turn. That's definitely gonna take out my my anti. E. You went for scorching sands or something. <laughs> God dang it, man! Dude, how did I forget that there was flash fire? See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I know like the like, I know the game, but sometimes my mind doesn't comprehend something. Sometimes, like I just saw it was flash fire. Why would it go into another heat wave like that? You guys are probably yelling at me, Grand Stream. Okay, so Cartana comes out. Mm. Nothing got this. Does he protect? Like, what's he gonna do? I think I still just go for this. But then he just heats, and I set the drought for him. Hey, let's do this. See what happens here. Okay, so we do take our Cartana. That's fair. Things gone, dumped on. See, then this next seat. How this match would have rolled out if he didn't swap in the heat trend. The Cartana would have already been dead. It probably would have been a 1v1 situation here, and I would have just gotten off a shot there. But depending on if I eat his shot, we might have could have won. But he does have the flare, and that's what that's what I was uh, struggling with right there. I knew it was going to do big damage, and it does take us out. 
Then I knew setting the drought kind of would have been tough with that Heatran. But yeah, definitely bad plays by me with the Flash Fire. But he made a really good read. Reading that Zapdos coverage move into the Heatran to waste the Dynamax turn and basically get himself the win. Looking for our first win, this guy's got Suicune, Celesteela, Rotom Heat, Alolan Ninetales, Tapu, Lele, and Dragapult. I definitely gotta bring Entei here. Entei just thrives up against that Suicune, that Celesteela, and the what's it called, and the Alolan Ninetales. Do I lead him? I think that's a potential lead, right? I could totally just lead Entei, choice spec, and kind of get after it. Um, he has no Trick Room users. He has an Aurorabell Pokemon. Um, hmm, who should my next Mon be? I might go with the Nihil Lego with that Focus Ash. That wouldn't be bad, but he's going to set the Hail, so Focus Ash kind of kind of cancels out. Hmm. Definitely want to bring Zapdos in the back end. I feel like Zapdos is going to thrive. Um, maybe, prop, yeah, let's, we got to bring Urshifu in the back end. I think we bring two choice Pokemon. We might just lead Zapdos. Let's see what we can do there, or Finny. He's not a bad call. Let me go Finny here. I'm going to go Zapdos and Urshifu in the back end. Kind of like that. The Earth Brew covers that, that very, very strong Dragon Bolt with Sucker Punch on it. With that Choice Band, could be big. And then the Entei covers a lot, too. So I kind of just want to bring both uh, Choice Pokemon. And then have our Finny, which is very, very strong, and our Life Orb Zapdos in the back. Or, yeah, I led the Finny. I might, I maybe should have led the Zapdos to try to start taking Speed Advantage early on and just go for Airstreams. But I think Entei just covers so much here. That's really, really big. I could see him lead and possibly the Lele. Trying to get that rolling, but I'm going to get my uh, Misty Surge. Up in here, and he'll probably take it over with the psychic surge. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the speed difference on the uh, the top of Lele and the Finny. I know the Indeedy one, but not this one. So let's see, let's see. What you want, fool? What you want? Who are you gonna go into? I'm gonna go into Poltsky and Nine Okay, the Pult and Nine they get they get out here. I can just drop a Heat Wave or an Eruption, whichever one I want. I think I'm just gonna drop a Heat Wave. Uh, I don't think he takes out my Entei. I really don't see him taking out my Entei. I have the Finny here too, so that poses a huge threat. Um, do I just go for an Icy Wind, or do I do I try to throw that Moon Blast and, and pose that throw? We got the Surge rolling. We got that Surge rolling, which is huge. So I'm definitely going to drop a Heat Wave. He might set up an Aurora Bell, or he might trigger Policy. But I think I just go for a Heat Wave here. I think I just go for a Heat Wave into a Moon Blast. I think that's definitely the play. He might swap, which I can definitely see, but I, I think I just pose a huge threat on turn one. That I have to just get straight after it. We'll choice back in the heat wave. Entei, baby. Entei, baby. But yo, dude, the hail and buffets are so annoying, man. He's probably gonna try to set up a roar bell. That's fine. Or he might just ice shard into the pole. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I mean, I think his best option is either to swap or just proc that policy because I don't see the move us taking it out. But we can maybe get a burn on it with you. That'd be huge. That'd be lovely. That'd be lovely, lovely. So he's gonna Dynamax. He's gonna proc that policy. Okay. Um, who are you going to take out is my question. He's got to take out Finny, or at least attempt to take out Finny. What are you going to do? Hopefully he's rocking like Max Lightning and he goes for uh, the Finny, and we will con marry it. <laughs> That'd be huge. I definitely see him just going for a stab move. He's got to be proc policy, not going for a word though, right? No, he's, just gonna, he's not proc policy. He's just going to go for a Phantasm, and we're going to be able to eat up, which is huge. I really do like that turn. Now, is he orbed or... or uh, is he orbed or what's it called? He's definitely weak to policy. Okay, so this is gonna help him eat up damage. Hopefully we can maybe bring the side tails down to Sash. It's gotta be Sash, right? I think he eats all day. Give, it, give me the burn on the pole. Give me the burn on the pole. It'll burn on the pole. Moonblast gonna come out here, do a little bit of damage. Ward Bell helping out. This thing policy, right? Ah man. Oh my lord. Chill on me, man. Chill on me. Uh okay. Comes the buffets out. We do not have protect coming out from the top of the finish slot. I can sucker punch hard on this thing. Uh, scorching sands. No, we can't. We're, we're choosing the heat wave. How you going here? I think we just double up into the nine tails, right? What do we try to get in for this? He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna pick up the double coat easily here. I'll pick up the double kill so easily. I'd rather try to icy wind if I can. Hmm. I'll just moonblast. I'll moonblast on the pulse slot. Try to do some more damage. A dang weakness policy, man. I knew he's policy. I knew it. 
Let's see, here comes Phantasm onto my finish slot. Oh, onto my anti slot. I kinda like that. I can deal with it. I can deal with it. He's gonna drop my. Is that special defense? He actually he might. He gets crit too. Where's the regular defense? I think it's a uh, regular, right? Yeah. The Nine Tails isn't gonna do any any more damage than it normally does. Oh, let's freeze dry. No, it's gonna move blast. That's fine. Finny eats up a moon blast all day. And then we're gonna be able to get off our own moon blast. And I can sucker punch into that. Uh, I gotta bring my boy out. The question is, does a sucker punch KO that thing? Are we gonna KO with that? I have to get him out here. I have to get him out here. I have to sucker punch into that thing. And I have to hope to pick up the KO. I think that's 100% the play. Sucker punch, let's go, baby. 70? With the choice band damage on top? And how much is this? This was 95, dude. I don't know. It's tough news. It's tough. We're gonna double up in the pulled slot. Doubling up on this pulled slot. Let's get it, baby. He guards here. He's a smart cookie. He guards here. That's a phenomenal play. I maybe shouldn't have doubled up in the pole slot. Okay, good. Good thing I did. Oh, he's gonna ice shard. But chill on me, man. Chill on me. Do a little bit of damage there. Sucker Punch gonna come out. Take him out. Yo, let's go. I knew the Urshfu was a great call. I knew the Urshfu was the call. I knew the Urshfu was the call. I knew I needed him. I know. I knew I definitely needed him for that pole. Huge plays right there. We doubled up just in case. Moonbuy should be able to slide over and pick up the KO easily. Ooh, no, it does not. Aurora Veil. Forgot about it. Bro, dude. Yes, Urshifu. Let's get it. Um, Yeah, just sucker punch into Nine Tails now. Get that out speed, take him out, and then have Finny get another turn. And then we still have... I'm kind of waiting for my Finny to go down here, but I want Urshifu swapped out. You know what I'm saying? I, I really do want Urshifu swapped out here. But at the same time, it's like, dude... It's like, I don't really want to waste a turn here. I do have electric for that thing, so it's pretty good. Or I could just waste my Dynamax on there. Rather sucker punch this turn. Hope to take you out. And taunt on you. I think we taunt on this thing. So it doesn't set up like iron defense or bulking up and all that stuff. So I'm just going to taunt on the Celestia. We know this thing can seed and all that. I really don't. I really don't need it right now. And potentially I could swap next turn. Because if I can get the, cause if I can get the, uh, the sucker punch off my choice band move, then and still be able to maintain my Zapdos in good position, we should be thriving. I should going to come out here, and of course, I don't think sucker punch works now. Okay, okay we definitely got to swap here. Oh, it's going to come from you. That's big. Yeah, we definitely got to swap this turn. And then Dynamax next turn. Oh, air slash coming out. Oh, shoot. Man. E, E, E. Man. Okay. Okay, that, that's fine. Beast boost coming out here. I dine max and I uh, drop a laning on that thing. I still feel like we're in this match. I still feel like we're in this match. I really did think this thing was going to like try to set up something. He just went straight for the air slash too. It's a little tough. And we didn't get rid of that uh, and nine tails. We definitely Dynamax, drop my T-Bolt. Totally fine. And then we, uh, we Scald, do we Icy Wind? Good Icy Wind. Not good, and Icy Wind, Icy Wind wouldn't take it out. Let's just go for a Moon Blast. Yeah, let's just go for a Moon Blast here. That thing is, what is he, Air and Steel? Yeah, he's Air and Steel, so I think we're totally fine. I think we're thriving. If we get that, that Electric Surge roll, we still have a Dynamax Pokemon that's gonna, I think Tabu Finny survives, whatever, uh, whatever's going on here. So is what's called just gonna go for another ice move. And I actually think he's gonna go after Top of Finny, maybe thinking my Zapdos has a policy. Which is a possibility, but now we're orbed. We are totally orbed here. Come on, baby, what you want? What do you want? And that Aurora Rail should end soon. It has it's definitely likely because it would have ended by now. It probably has a couple more turns left. Which will actually help the Celestial here. The Celestial is probably gonna be able to eat up, no problem. Actually not no problem. But I think it's gonna be able to eat up just because of that. Give me my 332 HP. I got my orb damage coming out here. Stab, super effective. Give it to me, baby. Blizzard's gonna come out here. Put some damage over on me. That's fine. We're able to eat up. Lightning's coming out here. Can we pick up KO? If we pick up KO here, it's definitely good. We do not. Like I said, orb rail's gonna help that thing out tremendously. But we know we outspeed it, which is huge. So all I need my Zapdos to do is uh, uh, or uh, eat up. 
Because Moonblast should be able to come out before Celesteel even makes a move. And Moonblast is going to be able to take out you. This dang Aurora Veil is being annoying. Get it, Tapu Fini. I love you. Thank you very much. And then, what is Celesteel going to go for? We did taunt that thing. He's going to go for an Air Slash on you. Can you eat? Can you eat, buddy? Do not. He's beast boosted plus two. He's got to go. He's got to go. Now, who is your final mon? That, that's a good question. Who is your final mon? Hell does stop, which is huge. Uh, I think one more turn to Warbell. No, Warbell's gone. Who's your final mon? Is he not? Hopefully, he's not a Sash mon. Hmm. Did you bring? Weak. Okay. You want the smoke? I'll hand it to you. Yeah, just go for a flare here. Flare's not very effective. Oh, this is water. This is. I think it's water. Loves it. I think I just take out Celestia. Yeah, we gotta get rid of Celestial. Celestial is the Pokemon that's gonna be able to do the most damage. It's plus two. If he protects, we still might be able to KO it, but let's see what he does. We have one more turn after this. If we can take out Celestial here, we should be able to one-tap Suicune. I'm almost positive we out- actually, do we outspeed Suicune? He's water typing. I don't see him doing too, too much damage on me. Uh, like I said, Celestial needs to go. His play would be to protect the Celestial, but I mean, we might be able to KO through it. I don't know. Let's see what happens. He does not protect it. Okay, Celestial down. That's huge. That is huge. I, I, I feel like we can one-shot this Suicune, no problem. I really do. Unless he protects this turn. If he protects it, ooh. What he's gonna do? What, what move? Are, what move are you rocking out with? Let me go for a tailwind. Okay, so he just wants the speed, which didn't really do anything. That kind of helped us out a little bit. I don't like that. Unless this thing sash. Like I said, unless this thing sash. Could be. Let me go here. Right into this. He's probably gonna protect this turn. Unless he doesn't have it. If he doesn't have it, I think this uh this takes him out one shot. We got the surge stab super effective. That's big old damage. Come on, baby. Don't have protect. Don't have protect. Or don't be sash. I don't see it being sash though. Right? I just don't. I, I see it potentially being citrus berry. He's gonna protect. But no, he's gonna. Come on. Whoa there. Whoa there. Calm mining. Getting that special defense boost and that defense boost. Or special attack and special defense. Then he's gonna come out here. Has a Wakan berry. Oh, hoo hoo. Dude has a Wakan Berry. No, yo, did he just clutch it like that? We need, we need my boy to eat. He has speed and and he's gonna go. He's gonna go first. We need my boy to eat. We need my boy to eat. Eat it, Ice Beam. Eat it. No way. Did he clutch that up like that? Eat it, buddy. Yo, props to this guy. Props to this guy. Yo, what a play. What a play. Yo, he deserves that one. We're 0-2. We got to hop into our third and final and try to get a win for this video. Not even going to lie, ladies and gentlemen. That was probably one of the nicest plays I've seen in a while. That was phenomenal. That dude knew he had the Wakan Berry. Went for the Calm Mind. Got that special defense boost and that special attack boost in order to take me out. That was really, really well. So definitely props to him. That was awesome. But third and final battle, we got to get ourselves a win here for the Jeans Online Gamer Community, baby. Looking for it for you guys. This guy has a... Uh, Thunderous, alongside with Reggie Draco, Cartana, Nehalego, Intimidate, Incineroar, and Urshifu. All right, all right. I'm not really too worried about the Urshifu because I'm definitely bringing Tapu Fini. Um, he has a Thunderous, which kind of, I kind of like Nehalego coming in here. That that could be a lead. Any special attack? Any super effective up against that Incineroar? I think we lead Fini as well. I think they're both just solid leads. Um, who else do I go with? This is Reggie Draco. I think I bring Zapdos and Urshifu. Right? That's fair. I think that's fair. We go for this first win. I mean, look for it. Try to get after it. Urshifu just rocks out. I knew we needed Urshifu in that last battle with the pole. And then I thought we had it. But, dude, that play was a phenomenal. That was phenomenal, dude. Such a good play. Such a good play. The first battle, I mean, that one would have been close. I, we might have been able to win if I realized the flash fire. But I still think we didn't. We wouldn't have won. I feel like that dude swap in the beginning into the Heatran definitely won the game. But that last battle, like, we had that one until he just outplayed. He just played phenomenally. But this is totally fine by me. We have the Misty Surge popping here. Um, he has a uh, Thunderous. I could Power Gem. Just throw out that. Have my have my Scald as well. Intimidate's going to do absolutely nothing. She might swap out. I think I just uh, do I double up into the... Do I double up into the... the Tornadus? I could just taunt the Tornadus. 
And he's gonna outspeed me, so let's go. Let's check his Pokemon. Um, who could he swap into? If I'm going for a Scald, swap swap into Cartana. Yeah, just slow down. Yeah, start slowing down, everybody. Go fake me out. Fair play. Okay, cool. Fake out, fake out uh, my Finny. That's totally fine. You can fake out my Finny. Going for a power gym here. Let's get some damage off here. I could trick him now. Nice damage, dude. Nice damage. <laughs> I think I might set a trick him here. I think I might set a trick him. That's three turns. Do I set a trick him? Just have him stop out speeding? And I just icy win? Actually, no. Just, uh, I'll start icy winning down. I'll go here. I'll just icy win. Pick up the KO on the Tornadus. And uh, do some damage on that thing. Tornado's gonna taunt. That's totally fine. We're icy winning. We're icy winning. You can taunt me, so I can't taunt. Parting shots can come in here. That's fair. That Hello is gonna drop some special attack. I might swap him. I might swap the Hello. He's full on a sash, which is wonderful. I could swap him into the Earth Spoo. I just get my band put one out here. He's gonna go into Hello of his own. We're gonna start slowing him down too. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna take out what's called Tornadus. This little power gem popping. Icy Wind's coming out here as well. Oi. Slow down there, boys. Slow down. We get that rolling. Ooh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big speed drop. But that thing is still, like, technically plus one. Because I, I, I heard, I'm not sure if it's true, but I've always been playing by it. That Tailwind basically plus two is your speed. So that's kind of how I heard it. Cartana's gonna pop. Um, that's fine. I might. Do I swap? Do I swap here? Um. Hmm. Good foul play. Good foul play on the Cortana, but I kind of just want to. Actually, does that even affect me? The higher the targets just attacks that, the greater damage it deals. I think we just foul play onto the Cortana slot. And then we just scald over on the Hilego. You know, I think, yeah, Dynamax coming out here. Dynamaxing! Okay, he's gonna get beast boosted too, which is kinda tough. Cortana, two beast. Two beastie boosted. He's gonna get beast boosted. Um, he does have speed, which is kinda scary. Um, I can't set a trick. What's he gonna go for? He's gonna go for a steel spike, okay. On the hill I go? That's fine, I still have my sash. Just dandy. He's gonna get defensive boost here. I'm just fine, I still have my Zapdos in the back. Let's get it. Here's defensive boost all day. It's fine with those special attackers here. And you're gonna go for a sludge bomb over on Vinny. Yes, sir. Vinny should be able to eat. Yep. Loves it. That play comes out, doing a little bit of damage there. And Finny's gonna be able to do his, uh, some damage over onto the Nihilego. Maybe take out. Maybe take out. I'm not too sure. No, we do not. Can we get a burn? Just do a little chip damage. No burn. Okay, uh. Hmm. But lower special defense. Which I mean if I can. I cannot. Hmm. I say we just uh we start kicking off this Cartana. And if we can get an icy wind, that'd be huge, so I'm gonna go. Does Tailwind? How many turns does Tailwind have? This might be its last, so we might have one more. He's gonna start boosting his stats. Smart cookie. Smart cookie, take out the hill I go. He's gonna pick up the double kill. But I might just Dynamax and uh Guard this turn with my Zapdos. You have Urshfu who can come in here with the Sucker Punch. Do I really want a choice to a Sucker Punch? That's, that's the real question. Beast Boost, this thing's stacking up. Thing's stacking. I don't think I have Protect. No, I do not have Protect. It's kind of scary. Which is kind of scary, but Cartana's got to go. He gets crit. That's fine. Cartana's definitely got to go. And one max player should be able to take it out, no problem. Things boosted. These things are boosted, man. <laughs> Leave me alone. That one's gone. Okay. But I can totally see Urshfu outspeeding Nihilego. The thing is, if Cartana doesn't take out my uh, Zapdos, I'm definitely going to go for the Flare, because the Flare will just take it out. Pretty much secure us this victory. If we can kill Cartana and keep both these mods. Yeah, I have to go for like a Wicked Blow on this thing. I think that's a, good, that's a, that's a smart move to kind of just go into. The choice into it, at least. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Because our time is stealing grass. So. Stab down. I don't see him. He, he, I, don't, I don't see him picking up my Zapdos in one shot. He's plus one. Which is fine. 
But I see my Urshfu. Urshfu should be able to out. Does it outspeed in the Hell Ergo? Actually, no. Hell Ergo is kind of bad. We'll see. We'll see what happens. What are you, you going to do, fool? There goes the Airstream. Over on Urshfu. That's tough news. He's going to take him out. Oh, man. I didn't think he was rocking Airstream, man. He's going to get speed boost. But Cartana's dead here. Cartana's dead. It really depends on this final mod. It really does depend on this final mod. He's going to power gem me, which is going to be big damage. Oh, man. He's going to go for a meat. It's Herb, dude. If it's not Herb, we, sh we have a shot. Dude. It's Herb, dude. We're dead. We are so dead. This thing just whomped on me. He just whomped on me. Leave me alone. Wow. Wow, dude. Rough set of battles for us today. Rough set of battles. That is nuts. That is nuts. Yo, GG this guy. We got 0 3 for day and we have ourselves a rough day. Just not our day today. We go 0 and 3. Um, first battle we played a little rough, considering with the flash fires and all that. Second one, the other guy just just ended up winning that battle. And then the th third one, I didn't think it was too bad. I just feel like we brought the wrong team. I don't feel like I really click well with this team. I feel like I tried to go with Zapdos too hard. I feel like I kind of tried to push Zapdos in there a lot when I shouldn't have, because Zapdos just kept getting dumped on. I feel like another Pokemon would have been better, maybe like Metagross or something I'm more comfortable playing with. But hopefully you guys still did enjoy the videos, even though we didn't win any. I promise you guys in the next video, we'll get, us, get ourselves a couple wins. At least one, for sure, for sure. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.